Hello guys from Nopegate, everything is fine with you, with us everything is fine. Another day that we are going to see the hoof of a mare, to which something a little unusual has happened. Well, this is a little bit unusual guys, because where we are and where this animal is, we ended up collecting many pieces of wood that were scattered in the pasture, because they dismantled a smaller house and we collected a lot of wood. Now they found this piece where and we believe it, that is where the nail came from and fixed it, fixed it on her and it's a lot of wood with a nail and while we were collecting them after collecting them and leaving them in the corner, well we, there was a lot of wood that we were collecting and we believe the animal ended up stepping on this wood nail and the nail came out and the, this stayed there. Well, it was like where she stepped on it's very thin and she has a hoof problem. So the hoof wall was very thin and the nail had enough strength to go through. So let's show Renato on the pedestal to show you the the size of the nail. Well, we were impressed because the nail that went through her hoof is huge. See that, well, it went through a little more than half of the hoof completely well even with grass tangled up here and well you can see the size of the nail and guys if you don't see here it's thin it's a thin layer so this part where the nail went through and well that's where the nail manages to cross it and as she steps on it it goes up higher so sometimes it had only crossed a little but as she stepped on it through the nail higher as it is also the day to do the hoofing of this animal because it's being carried because it was having larvae here in the middle part and it is also ready on the day to do the hoofing and we arrived at the right time to remove the hoof well i don't know if renato will be able to remove part of the hoof with a nail because it could probably it could probably have a maybe a sensible part from the animal yes you can probably get the most sensitive part so let's clean the hoof to find out because the first one I have to cut. You are ready to have to know how much we can withdraw from here. Yeah, what we can try there is simply. We need to pluck. We can see that the nail went a little firm. We can see that now it is loosening and as she walks. You see these guys. Maybe it was just a little and as she walks it goes higher. Guys, well, but since so right here, let, let, let me focus here, Renato, just to show to the people. Look, guys, the size of this nail that went through. Let's remove it, and we will follow Renato because he's going to do a whole thing. Despite the situation, this is a quite common. Once we made one in which there was a hole because the owner had already medicated the animal and it had been in the middle of the hoof it had crossed the sensitive part and there was another inflammation and the animal stayed like 20 days on medication and limping and when i was able to do the hoofing well there was a very large hole because of the inflammation so that is it it's it's quite common well just look at the size where the, where's that wood now though just see well probably so probably the middle of it came from the broken part and it could be like this and the other part broke and the nail is very likely to be that now and and it was close well the right thing is to encircle it so that it doesn't go up and step exactly guys we are going to isolate the part of the house that was demolished so that this doesn't happen again Renato, it looks like it didn't touch the sensitive part. No, no. 
Well, that's it, guys. I see the hole the nail made. The, the hole that the nail made. Well, let's go there and let's take advantage of it and do a whole thing on it. Well, just look at this piece where the nail had entered. Well, take a look, guys. Where, where it had crossed the thinnest part of the hoof. The, what a madness. She's very mischievous and active in Mary. That's it. She's in a good health. Thank God. The growth is very fast. Guys, these animals here, as we pass it on to you from the beginning, we are using a very good product that is essential and well we noticed a lot of difference in the hoof because it had a very so guys just take a look at this we are using teromycin we're gonna put it at the medicine we're going to close it so we're using the teromycin and then we are going to close it and after two to three days, she will end up losing it up uh, because she is a very mischievous mare. And after that, we are going to keep only on the silver medicine. Well, we just keep these guys on the silver medicine to not let her have any type of uh, larva. It's a calm animal that allows us to lift the hoof. I don't know if it is because it's still a little weak, but in fact, it's not weekend, but it's calmer. She's very healthy. She already learned it. What is for her own good? It's a calmer animal after all. She came here after she came here that we started making a VIP treatment with her. And she allows us to deal with situations without many challenges. Just need to dry it now. Very good, guys. So, medicine applied. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay with God, everyone, and see you next time, God willing. Our motto is to listen to those who have no voice to be heard.